Hey, what's up guys? This is Brian at WhisperStatus74. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the channel. This is another gaming video. This is on the 83-inch LG C1. I'll show you quickly here that we are in the game optimizer. We're just in standard. Dynamic tone mapping is enabled. And we're just walking through the environment here of Metro Exodus as the night cycle turns into day. Um, playing this game, as many of you have or given it a shot, I hope you guys go back and finish it or beat it because the audio in this game is phenomenal, which I'll show you in a second, but the world building in this game and the reason why I want to do this video is not really about the LG C1, which looks amazing, especially at the size and the Dolby Atmos mix, which I'll enable in a second. It's games and game companies like this make nowhere near the money of a Fortnite or Call of Duty or any of these other games. And this kind of world building and this kind of detail is just lost these days and while many of us say that so few of us actually play these games and I've just been blown away with this game if you've played the Metro series before it's a little hard to get used to the combat is very rewarding it's not super easy but the world building has always been phenomenal the graphics have always been phenomenal this game was extremely ambitious and very hard to run on PC. It was one of the few real true ray tracing games. This is actually on the Series X with ray tracing. And it looks amazing. Runs amazing. And I just want to walk through this level with you as I just got here. And it went from a um, level of desert Mad Max style to this outdoorsy Far Cry 5 level. We're going to enable a little bit of Atmos real quick. Actually, we just disabled it. Let's re-enable Atmos. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had it on mute. There we go. I'm not going to edit that out because we're not going to edit. We're hopefully giving this to you at 4K60. I'm here with a Denon 6700H. We have 11.2 channels, four height speakers in front and behind. And with this panel, the level of immersion is out of this world. But I want to just pay a little respect to this developer. Because this world is absolutely gorgeous. And if this video gets a hundred views and some of you guys decide to give this game a look, I'll be very happy. see as the moonlight's coming back in. And the game has its horror elements, obviously. <laughs> Not a lot of ammunition or anything. But as a YouTube creator, as a content creator, many times when I'm playing these games, I think of you guys and I want to share these moments. You see as the sun is starting to come up, or as the cycle changes,
we'll still use the flashlight. Now normally I'll rock this game darker than you see it here. I do like OLEDs to be darker. The specular highlights really pop. And though I'm a PC gamer, I really do feel that the consoles between the Series X and the PS5 have for the first time in a long time given PC-like visuals. And perhaps even higher because ray tracing is just such an expensive commodity. Now you're going to see a lot of blue. I do rock my games cooler. They do show up on camera as more blue than you'll see it. And as night changes kind of into day, you can see how beautiful this landscape is. And the amount of effort that they put in. And as I mentioned, this is a tough game, and as you're tempted to quit on it, or the game feels too deserty or Mad Max-ish, it just surprises you and gets to this area here, which is absolutely amazing. And a lot of these games I just like to walk around in, no action. just kind of bask in the visuals. But this is one of those games where they think of everything. They put things everywhere. It's not perfect, but it is very good. Now in between all the TV videos, these are the videos I would always do. Just random gameplay, no editing, And though these videos never get many views, it is where my passion is. So I will continue to do them. Look at the lighting. You see all the puddles. And as I mentioned, in between other videos, what I'll do is I'll do random gameplay videos like this. Just showing you whatever it is that I'm playing. You can hear the sound coming in from both sides. What we'll do is we'll turn around so you can hear the sound through the speakers all behind you. is so dirty. Wow. <laughs> I mean, think of all the time it takes to make a game that looks like this. Really stunning. This is Metro Exodus, I believe, on Game Pass. These are all available. I rescued this guy earlier.
Now I lowered the gamma down a bit. This is typically how I play it when I'm not filming. But I knew I'd get black crush comments constantly. But the immersion here, how this flame pops, when all you hear is how dull OLEDs are, how dim they are. I mean, look at that. There is one area I did want to show you that I stumbled upon. I love games you can go through. Oh, there it is. Is that it? That's the house. Oh, it's up here. This might cut me off at about 12 minutes. If it does, thank you for watching. guy's just tired. Give him a second to chill out. With this kind of stuff here, how spooky and amazing the effort it takes to design this. So please pick up Metro Exodus. Give it a run. Check out the games um, before it. I'm enjoying the heck out of it, but for immersion and how beautiful this game is, I just highly recommend it. Especially if you have an Xbox Series X or a PS5. Wow. The game does give you that feeling of isolation. Half-Life 2 kind of vibes. Gonna play this until it runs out. Look at this, the, the structures. I mean, look at that. And I put the gamma back so it was a little lighter for you guys to see. The amount of detail, absolutely beautiful.
Now, being a PC gamer, these are the only graphics I would ever see on PC, never on console. And it feels amazing to have these on console now, especially with the game so taxing. And to have ray tracing, my PC doesn't have ray tracing, though it can do 4K60. I attempted to shoot that guy, but I want this to be a peaceful walkthrough video. <laughs> Again, I know the image is blue. I do like my games cooler. I thought you guys would appreciate the detail and just the respect I have for the artists of studios like this. C1 is absolutely second to none in terms of gaming, other than obviously the G1. to not come out, my bad. Camera was blocking the prompt. Oh, I don't have any arrows. Wow, that was tough. Also, at 83 inches, the camera is about four feet away. That's how clear this image is at 83. Oh, that's my girl. I'm trying to contact you. What
Okay. Turn that light off real quick. All right, guys, I will stop it there. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching a little gameplay with me. Again, these videos are my favorites to do other than the tech therapy videos. Let's see if I can get a wolf to... Okay. All right, we'll leave it there. All right, guys, thank you as always. Have a great night. I'll see you in the comments. Take care.